In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a custom uh, cell component for Payload CMS together with the nested docs plugin so that we can uh, do what you can see on my screen here. So what this um, component will do is it will show us this arrow next to a page that has a parent and it will also show the parent here. Um, it's important to know that nested docs, this plugin, is required for this to work. Um, the nested docs plugin is a native plugin from Payload that will allow you to have a page be part of a parent. So let's get started. So I'll create a new uh, a blank project for this. Uh, npx create payload app. Project name will be tutorial cell blank we'll use sqlite because it's the fastest for now all right so we installed uh, this new project i'll cd into it and we can open it up so we have this blank uh, project here the first thing we're gonna have to do is install the nested docs uh, plugin Now let's configure payload to use this plugin. First of all, we'll just uh, import it here. And then in the plugins, we have the cloud plugin. We can get rid of that and uh, paste in this, the nested docs plugin. So we're gonna use it for the pages collection. This URL will, um, so this reduce, so make sure that we loop. Uh, even if we have nested, um, so children of children of children, they will always use this pattern. The generate label, uh, it's giving an error here. I think we need to define this as a string. And then the pages collection doesn't exist yet. So let us create that first. We should go to collections, new file, pages.ts. Um, So the fields that we need for this page, it doesn't really matter, but oops, this page, of course, um, for the fields, we can just use a uh, type text. Name title, so this will be the page title. page slug. Uh, this is just a short example. I'm sure you have your own slug component which is a little bit more advanced and is based on um, the title component. But for this example, we just want to keep it simple. I have a simple slug component which we will fill in uh, ourselves. So let me add the pages collection right here. Okay, I see that I installed the plugin nested docs in the wrong folder. So this is the correct folder now. I just installed it in my tutorials folder, uh, which of course won't work. Okay, let's see what this looks like. If we go to the admin. Since this is a new project, we have to create a user, of course. And here you can see we have the pages collection. No pages are present. I will make a first page, which is called home, with a slug of home and no parent. And then we can also create a page called um, projects maybe which will have no parent as well and then we want to create a project page project zombies don't ask me where i got that title project zombies and the parent will be uh, id so page with id 2 
So here you can see the breadcrumbs uh, that the nested docs plugin made for us. And if we go back here, you can see the parent field being set right here. So what we want to do now is customize, let me hide this ID field. We want to customize this title cell, so only this small bit to show us this um, arrow and then also um, the link and to the, and the parent. So let's see how we can do this. If we go back to our pages collection, we can define the admin field here. And the admin field can take a component. And then for these components, we have a few options. Um, you can customize the field, which is the input field when you edit or create a page. What we need is the cell, right? And how this works is you don't import the custom cell component here, but you uh, make it a string. Let me show you. If we create a new folder called um, fields, for example, we might call this title. And in the title field, we might have a uh, cell component.tsx. What we need to do now is reference this as a string, right? So we'll go add collections, uh, sorry, add fields, title, maybe I get cell component, name of the function. So we'll call the cell component as well. If you go into the cell component, uh, let's start by exporting our function name. So this will be a, this is a TSX file, so this will be a React component. First of all, what we want to do is to use the data that's being given to us in this component. Let me first start with the props. Um, that way we can see which data we have to work with. So we have the default cell component props. Yeah, okay. If you look at this, you can see that we will have, we will receive row data, which is all the data of the current row. And we'll also get the um, collection slug, we'll get the field, the link, etc., And also the cell data, which in our case, by default, would just be the title. So we can use this information to get the fields that we need to get. Um, let me first define the return prop. So this is a functional component, which will have these default cell component props. And the fields that we want is row data, cell data. We also need the collection slug to know um, with which correct collection we're dealing. So in our case, that will be pages. And we also need the link, which is a Boolean, which will let us know if the um, the title field that's here will be uh, clickable or not. So you can see it's already using my component because nothing is uh, being returned. Um, so to start off with, let's just return the default div. And we can say hello world, just to see what that looks like. There you go. Now you can see it says hello world. If we would return the cell data, you would see that it has the default type. Okay, but it's not clickable now, which is something that we have to fix. So let's start by checking if this um, specific row has a parent, right? So if it doesn't have a parent, we don't need to show this arrow here. So what we can do is the row data will have all these items, so the slug, the parent, and we have to check if that is set. So what we can do for that is we can do a check here. So let's open up this div, or wrap in parentheses. We want to check a row data dot parent. If this is set, we want to add some data. We want to add an icon. Um, what we can do is just see if there's no address here. Yep. Let's go to Icones. Icones. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this one 
has a lot of icons. It has uh, all the famous icon packs and then some more. And if you just type an arrow, you can see that there's a lot of options here. I'm looking for the one I used in my project. Uh, we can use this one. So just click it, copy the SVG link, go back to Visual Studio Code and paste it in here. So what will happen now, if our row has a parent, it will show this div. That's it. You can see it's, it's white. Um, let's remove this. So we also have to show the, the title, of course. So um, here we will show cell data. Let's put a span around it. There we go. So let's style this a little bit. Um, don't forget, you can't use Tailwind here. This is a payload uh, component, so no Tailwind is provided. We'll have to do some things manually. Can be eight align items can be at the center let's also make this svg a bit smaller let's try 18 pixels and see what we have now now we can't click this so we can use this link boolean in some cases and i don't know which yet but in some cases this will not be a link i'm not sure why so we can use this link um, boolean to check if it's a link or not. So if it's a link, we want to use a link, of course, from next. This link will go to a URL, which we are going to define in a second. And this link will have the cell data as its label. When there's no link, we can just use a, a span with the cell data inside. Now we need to build this URL, right? So what this URL looks like, I'll just type it out first. It's localhost, then goes to admin, connections, pages in this case, and then the, um, the ID of the page. So what we will do here, because this could be used for other collections, we will use the collection slug here, which will be pages in our case. Then as a value, we will use the ID of the row. That's it. So this URL, we can, it's already in here. Let's refresh and test it out. <clears throat> okay, now you can see in the bottom left that if I click on this one and go to the correct page, if I go back to pages, Project. So that is, that is working correctly. Now, one more thing I want to show you is how you can add the uh, name of the parent behind it. So what we can do for that is we can um, fetch the name of the parent from the breadcrumb. So as you'll see, if you go to Project Zombies, we have this URL here. Every child has its own breadcrumb. So the second breadcrumb is the full link and the first one is the one belonging to the parent so let's set up a new um, field we'll call it parent title and this parent title we're going to check at the breadcrumbs and we're going to take the first one so this one so what we're going to do is rotate that print parent so if it has a parent otherwise we don't need to do this obviously if it has a parent, we'll use the breadcrumbs. Um, the first one, and we'll get the label of that. If not, we'll just null this. So what we can do here, um, let's just add it behind this link. Parent type. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. What I did in my example was I styled this a bit. So what we can do is put this in a span 
given opacity 0.5, for example. Now you can see it has a this opacity. Um, these are showing empty. That is because when it's not set, we don't want to show this. I think that's it. So let's go just over the code quick again. So it's important to have the correct prop so that we can receive these items that we need. We build a URL from the collection slug, which is pages. We pass the value of our current row. To get the parent data, we check, okay, is this, does this row have a parent? What we could also do is check if the breadcrumbs dot length is more than one would be valid as well. <clears throat> if so, we get the label of the parent, which is a parent title, and we output this here behind our cell data. If, it, if there's a parent, we output this arrow, we make sure it's flexed so they're um, structured in line. And then we show the link. And if it's not a link, we'll just show the cell data. So I hope you can follow along uh, and build this as well. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. See you soon.